I'm Jonathan Martin. We are all counting down. There are less than two weeks remaining before we could know who will be the 47th president of the United States. And the man who was the 45th commander in chief has returned to this pivotal swing state. Right now, let's take you live. This is a live look at Zebulon in Pike County, where the Republican nominee Donald Trump is there on the stage uh, taking part in a faith based town hall, answering questions along with current Lieutenant Governor Burt Jones. Doug Richards with the 11 Alive political team is there for us right now. So, Doug, what is Mr. Trump's message this afternoon? We know he's speaking on the stage right now. Yes, well, he just started speaking uh, to a crowd of, there are thousands of people here in the tiny town of Zebulon in this church. Uh, most of them are outside because they couldn't get into the church sanctuary. The message really hasn't coalesced yet, except what we've been told is that we expect Trump basically to ignore these folks who are already supporting them to go out and try to recruit their friends and their families and their neighbors to actually vote for him uh, in November. Again, let's take a look at the stage right quick. President Trump is speaking alongside uh, Lieutenant Governor Burt Jones. We talked with Ralph Reed, the founder of the Faith and Freedom Coalition. Uh, he was here on stage earlier today. Uh, and he said that basically it's the no rally is going to sway the election at this point. Getting volunteers to turn out voters is what's going to make the difference between now and the end of uh, the election season in November. And so that's what they're on stage trying to do in Pike County, in a county, by the way, that Trump carried with 85 percent of the vote in 2020. So there's no question that he's among friends here. The question is whether these folks can recruit other votes for Donald Trump to push him over the top on Election Day. Uh, we are live in Zebulon tonight. Back to you. All right, Doug, thanks so much. And after that stop in Zebulon, Donald Trump will be traveling to Duluth for a rally. This is what the line looked like outside of Gaz South Arena as our 11 Alive Sky Tracker was there. This was just a few hours ago, so you imagine that the line is even longer now. The line started to form in the overnight hours with the event slated to start at 7 tonight. Let's bring in our Crash Clark. Crash, we know we've had several visits from both Kamala Harris and Donald Trump, so we know how the evening rush hour <laughs> can be when they are in town. Yeah, and it always seems to be a matter of timing. Let's look at where uh, President, former President Trump is right now, down at that town hall in Pike County. Now, of course, this is just off of I-75 in Zebulon, which is uh, Forsyth, Georgia, north of Macon, but he's got to get up to Duluth. The big question is, how is he going to get up there? They are keeping things airtight for security purposes. Obviously, the doors are opening at 12. They already did. He's supposed to speak at about 7 o'clock, but we're talking about delays already around Sugarloaf Parkway. That's to be expected. But once he gets anywhere close to town, we're going to see major delays. We could see a complete shutdown of I-85, possibly 316. We don't know where he's landing. We don't know where he's driving. We don't even know how he's going to get there real quick before we get to the rush hour one wreck 85 south before highway 74 down in sonoy we've got big delays use highway 29 as an alternate but right now 85 condition red a little bit crowded but i think faith as this afternoon goes on we are going to see some major delays in the rush hour